Chapter 4 Evolution Evolution is the process by which different kinds of living organisms are believed to have developed from earlier forms during the history of the earth. In this chapter, we shall understand the concept of evolution and the different stages of evolution in animals. The concept of evolution The word evolution means gradual and continuous change. Gradual means slow. Evolution is a process of gradual change that takes place over many generations during which species of animals, plants or insects slowly change some of their physical characteristics. Evolution in animals take place in the following manner. Animals witnessed a lot of internal physical changes during evolution. Example, early species of tiger and the modern tigers of today. The roots of developed humans can be seen in ancient apes. Certain similarities can be seen in the skeletons of apes and humans. Through the example, it is visible that along with the facial structure, the bone structure changed the original species and the new species evolved. Charles Robert Darwin was born on February 12, 1809 in England. He was a naturalist and biologist known for his theory of evolution and his understanding of the process of natural selection. He stated that species which were capable to adjust the environmental changes such as earthquakes, floods, snowfall, etc. survived. Others died and became extinct. Example, mammoths and dinosaurs became extinct. Dinosaurs are a group of reptiles that have lived on earth for about 245 million years. Dinosauria derived from the Greek word dinos means terrible and saurus means lizard or reptile. So, dinosaur means a terrible lizard. History tells us that some of these dinosaurs suddenly became extinct due to some sudden natural disaster or environmental changes such as volcanic eruption, freezing cold, diseases, etc. Fossils of dinosaurs with wings have been discovered. It is believed that some species of two-legged and winged dinosaurs evolved into birds. The Stages of Evolution of Animals Life on Earth began with unicellular organisms known as protozoa. These unicellular organisms gave rise to multicellular living things. The multicellular organisms developed slowly and various classes of plants and animals came into being. The following are the stages of evolution of animals, invertebrates and vertebrates. Animals without a backbone are called invertebrates. Example, snail, earthworm, fly, 
spider etc animals with a backbone are called vertebrates vertebrates are classified into following categories aquatic animals animals that live in water for most of the time are called aquatic animals example fish sea horse sea turtle etc amphibians animals which live in water as well as on land are called amphibians example frog salamander sicilian etc birds birds are animals with backbones wings and feathers most birds can fly example parrot flamingo owl etc reptiles animals that crawl or moves on its belly or on short legs are called reptiles example snake crocodile chameleon etc mammals mammals are the most evolved animals among vertebrates example cow horse monkey etc the two important characteristics of mammals are first the baby of a mammal grows in the mother's womb before the birth that is mammals give birth to their babies second the baby is fed on the mother's milk after the birth but some species of mammals like platypus and anteaters lay eggs they are considered as mammals because they feed their young ones with their milk platypus mostly live under water anteater as these animals eat ants and termites they are called as anteaters they have no teeth the long tongue helps them to lap up ants and termites apes apes were somewhat like humans in appearance they were intelligent they lived on trees those apes who continued to live on trees retained their original ape like form they had hair instead of fur they were tailless some apes moved on the ground and in grasslands in search of food these species developed slowly and later gave rise to human species the first human species appeared in the african continent he was called the primitive man primitive means the first Thank you for watching the video